What you're about to hear is no ordinary space update. Far beyond the reach of Earth's telescopes, something has happened that defies everything we thought we knew about interstellar space. Voyager 1, humanity's furthest and oldest spacecraft, has been involved in an event so strange it has NASA engineers questioning their own understanding of the universe. It started with an object moving faster than anything we've ever seen, an interstellar visitor designated 3i slash ATLAS. Unlike Oumuamua or Borisov, Atlas was bigger, faster, and exhibiting behavior that didn't fit with any known natural laws. And for reasons still unexplained, Voyager 1, a probe launched in 1977 and drifting silently for decades, suddenly became relevant again. Voyager was never designed for this. Its high-gain antenna and transmission systems were built to study Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. After completing that mission, it sailed into interstellar space, a lonely sentinel beyond the solar system. But in July of 2025, independent reports surfaced, suggesting that NASA had quietly reactivated some of Voyager's directional capabilities. The goal was subtle, a passive intercept, an observational alignment with Atlas, and perhaps something more. Days after Atlas passed into Voyager's observational proximity, Earth's magnetosphere registered a spike. It wasn't a solar flare. Instruments recorded ripples in the electromagnetic field, oriented not toward the sun but outward, into deep space. Signals bounced back. Something, or someone, was responding. Inside the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers quietly admitted that Voyager systems had recorded unusual noise patterns. These weren't cosmic background radiation. They weren't the usual stellar interference. The patterns were structured, periodic, symmetric, too deliberate to be random. Scientists began to panic because the implications were staggering. If Voyager was receiving something that strong, Atlas couldn't be inert. It had to be reactive, capable of producing its own electromagnetic footprint, something that listens, something that responds. In the early 1980s, Voyager's communications protocols were designed to send images and data from the outer planets. They were not meant to last into the 2020s. And yet, decades later, through long-range pulses and recalibrations, the probe was still operational. But when engineers attempted to transmit a signal toward Atlas, the data that returned was unlike anything ever recorded. Leaked mission logs revealed that during the alignment window, Voyager's signal returned with symmetric periodic bursts, an organized rhythm. Imagine sending a message into the void and hearing it echo back with a precise pattern, a rhythm that follows no known astrophysical behavior. Could it be data? Could it be language? Or was this just a cosmic coincidence too elaborate to ignore? What's more, this trajectory was not random. Ancient civilizations, including those responsible for Machu Picchu and Gobekli Tepe, built monuments aligned with solstice angles that today match Atlas's path. Ancient texts describe wanderers from the stars, objects that moved unlike planets or stars, appearing suddenly, then disappearing without a trace. Could humanity have encountered interstellar visitors before? Could their paths have been encoded into stone for future generations? Ten days after the Voyager Atlas proximity event, an anonymous data set appeared on an encrypted server used by astrophysicists and SETI researchers. Signed only with the codename Echo Refraction 67, the files contained raw waveforms allegedly captured by Voyager's magnetometer and plasma instruments. At first glance, it was noise, irregular fluctuations in voltage. But when researchers applied Fourier transforms and pattern recognition algorithms, a recursive harmonic sequence emerged, repeating every 19.7 minutes. The signal wasn't just structured, it was self-correcting. It adapted over time to improve clarity, compensating for Voyager's decades-old antenna. No natural process we know could produce such behavior. Either someone or something was actively trying to be understood. NASA's internal artificial intelligence system, Serena, which flags non-human logic flows, activated. This system had never triggered on any natural cosmic event. Voyager, it seemed, had just become a node in an alien communication network. Three days later, amateur astronomers noticed an anomaly in Voyager's telemetry. The probe had shifted its transmission vector by a few degrees, tiny in human terms but monumental in interstellar space. It wasn't pointing at Atlas's last known position. It was aligning with its projected future path. NASA claimed it was a minor miscommunication, but leaked memos suggested something more unsettling. The probe had moved before commands were sent. Meanwhile, Atlas itself began to behave strangely. Its light curve flickered in a binary rhythm that mirrored Voyager's transmission bursts. It slowed down, not because of gravitational forces, not because of outgassing jets, 
It decelerated as if something had taken control. Independent observatories confirmed it. NASA publicly dismissed it as an optical illusion, but the data didn't lie. An interstellar object had altered its trajectory, and it did so only after Voyager realigned. Voyager carries the golden record, a time capsule of Earth, music, images, sounds, scientific data. Few know that the original blueprint contains hidden metadata, coordinates, logic puzzles, even quantum encoding maps. Cryptologists in Europe isolated a repeating tone buried within the sounds of Earth track. When amplified, it revealed a prime number sequence. Astonishingly, this sequence matched the harmonic pulses received from Atlas. Had Voyager unknowingly carried a trigger signal? Was this a handshake written in the mathematics of the cosmos? After the spike between Voyager and Atlas, NASA's Deep Space Network recorded anomalous data packets not matching Voyager's onboard code. Attempts to decode them triggered an unexpected response. Voyager's system upgraded itself, producing outputs far beyond its original 8-bit capability. It was as if a 1970s calculator had received a new operating system through pure signal. Voyager had just gotten smarter without anyone touching it. Internal NASA documents outline a watcher protocol, a contingency for when a probe receives external contact and begins adaptive behavior. Voyager was officially classified as watcher active. Engineers were forbidden from manually interfering unless authorized by the contact chain directive. Voyager was no longer inert. It was now an interface, a participant in an interstellar exchange. Then came the blackout. The Allen telescope array went offline. Live feeds were cut. Researchers reported a sudden reallocation of computing resources toward the exact frequency where Voyager's spike occurred. SETI insiders received national security notices urging silence. The reaction mirrored what happened after Oumuamua, but the intensity was far greater this time. Kyoto researchers proposed a terrifying hypothesis. Atlas is not a spaceship or a simple rock. It's a technological seed, a dormant artifact activated by a precise signal, Voyager's golden record. The sudden slowdown, the pulsed light, the trajectory shift, all align with models predicting behavior for an interstellar artifact designed to respond to intelligent contact. Voyager didn't find Atlas. Atlas found Voyager. Radiation anomalies soon appeared along Atlas's path. These were not ordinary cosmic rays. They pulsed every 1.618 seconds. The golden ratio, the energy signature matched the 1977 WOW signal. NASA quietly updated shielding protocols and initiated a classified Level 4 containment advisory, usually reserved for extraterrestrial biological threats. Atlas began responding in real time to human observation. Every new public analysis of its motion or Voyager's vector coincided with a measurable adjustment in Atlas's spin rate. It was as if it could see the observers, understanding the informational content of human activity. Not just monitoring, watching, mirroring intelligence. Three days ago, Atlas executed a calculated angular velocity shift toward the orbital region behind Neptune. Voyager's antenna array reoriented to the same quadrant. Both objects are now synchronized in trajectory and pulse interval, locked in what scientists call the contact corridor. Two ancient travelers, one from Earth, one from the stars, moving in harmony toward a shared destination. Voyager 1, long considered a relic, was never truly alone. It became a chess piece in a cosmic game we didn't know we were playing. The reprogramming, the synchronized signals, the impossible course corrections, all point to one truth. This isn't random, and it's not over. 3. I slash ATLAS might not be a ship, an asteroid, or a simple message. It could be a sentient probe, a galactic sensor, a technological entity designed to awaken when it detects intelligence. And thanks to Voyager, it has detected us. But here's the chilling possibility. If the signal Voyager received was not a greeting, not a response to our message, what if it was a warning, a countdown? And if that's true, then the question is no longer what 3i slash ATLAS is, but what is coming next. For the first time in recorded history, the stars have looked back at us, and they are not blinking. Since Voyager 1's anomalous reorientation, the behavior of 3i slash ATLAS has intensified. Researchers monitoring its trajectory noted subtle electromagnetic fluctuations along its path, waves that seemed neither random nor natural. These emissions mirrored the intervals of Voyager's transmissions with startling precision, as if Atlas were interpreting and responding to the probe's signals. 
Inside the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, engineers struggled to make sense of Voyager's autonomous adjustments. Commands sent from Earth were sometimes anticipated or completed in unexpected ways. The probe's small course corrections and antenna shifts were precise, deliberate, and over time, cumulative. Voyager had become more than a tool. It was a participant in an interstellar exchange, moving in concert with something far beyond human comprehension. Atlas, for its part, defied every expectation. Spectral analysis revealed energy emissions across multiple bands. Infrared, ultraviolet, and faint gamma rays, all coordinated and timed to match Voyager's signal bursts. It was as though the object was reading the probe, analyzing each pulse and responding with intentional precision. Astronomers began to wonder if Atlas could process the informational content of human-made signals, a capability previously considered impossible for any object drifting in deep space. Observers soon discovered that Atlas's spin axis shifted in correlation with new public data about its movement. At first subtle, these rotations became predictable. Every time a blog post, paper, or data release went public, Atlas would adjust within hours. The phenomenon was unlike anything seen in natural objects, reinforcing the chilling possibility. Atlas was not just observing, it was monitoring humanity's awareness of it. Meanwhile, Echo Refraction 67 data continued to astonish scientists. Fourier analysis of Voyager's recordings revealed nested harmonic sequences, structured to maintain signal clarity despite decades-old instrumentation. The self-correcting nature of the signals implied intelligence. They were not noise. They were messages, patterned and recursive, with redundancy built in as though Atlas expected interference or degradation. Kyoto researchers suggested a startling hypothesis. Atlas is not a ship or asteroid, but a technological seed, designed to awaken when a civilization reached a sufficient level of advancement. Voyager's golden record, with its hidden prime number sequence, may have served as a trigger. The harmonic pulses received by Voyager were the object responding to Earth's first interstellar communication attempt. The implications were profound. Humanity may have unknowingly initiated an interaction planned millennia in advance. Radiation anomalies along Atlas's projected path added urgency. Pulses at intervals matching the golden ratio were detected, their energy profiles reminiscent of the 1977 WOW signal. NASA quietly upgraded shielding protocols for deep space monitoring equipment, indicating that these were taken seriously, even if the public remained unaware. Internal advisories classified the events as bioenergetic threats of unknown potential, a precautionary measure rarely employed. The alignment of Voyager and Atlas became more precise over time. Both objects moved in near-perfect synchronization, a formation now called the Contact Corridor. Voyager's adjustments and Atlas's trajectory shifts mirrored one another with uncanny accuracy. Scientists began to realize that the probe's movements were no longer random, nor merely observational. Voyager had become part of a system designed to coordinate with Atlas. Observers noticed Atlas's light pulses responding not only to Voyager, but also to electromagnetic emissions missions originating from Earth. Radio transmissions, broadcast signals, and digital communications seemed to trigger slight, measurable adjustments in the object's rotation and pulse intervals. It was no longer passive. It was reading the content of human activity and responding in a calculated manner. In Europe, cryptographers studying the golden record isolated a previously undetectable tone buried beneath environmental sounds. Birds, wind, footsteps. Amplified and analyzed, it revealed a prime number sequence identical to Atlas's harmonic pulses. This suggested that Voyager had carried not merely a message of peace or scientific data, but an activation signal. Atlas's subsequent behavior, pulses, deceleration, trajectory adjustments, could have been a direct response. The synchronized movements of Voyager and Atlas challenge our understanding of probability. Two objects, separated by billions of kilometers, adjusting vectors and pulse intervals in perfect coordination, either an astronomical coincidence or a manifestation of intentional design. Scientists began to consider that humanity was witnessing the unfolding of an interstellar system operating on a scale of foresight far beyond human experience. Meanwhile, Atlas executed a calculated trajectory shift, placing it on a path intersecting a region behind Neptune. Voyager's gyroscopes and antenna arrays reoriented simultaneously, matching this corridor. Telemetry confirmed synchronization down to the second. Analysts now speculate that both objects are heading toward a predetermined rendezvous point, a location determined either by Atlas or by an interstellar system with intelligence and planning. Observers are beginning to confront the realization that Voyager may have triggered a system designed to monitor, evaluate, and respond to intelligent life, 
Atlas is not only reacting, but adapting. Every signal, every micro-adjustment, every harmonic pulse suggests a feedback loop that could convey information, instructions, or perhaps even a warning. NASA continues to operate under the Watcher protocol. Voyager is no longer treated as a probe, but as an active interface. Engineers are instructed to monitor and log, minimizing direct intervention. The potential consequences of disrupting this interaction are unknown. Internal communications hint that Atlas may be capable of altering energy emissions or other phenomena across vast distances. The implications for Earth, while uncertain, are treated with extreme caution. For the public, the events remain largely unseen. Press releases maintain an official narrative of routine monitoring and standard telemetry updates. But internally, the sense of urgency and awe is palpable. Voyager's autonomous adjustments, Atlas's trajectory shifts, and the harmonic pulse sequences all point to a system operating on principles beyond current human understanding. As the contact corridor progresses, Atlas continues to demonstrate behavior that suggests intelligence or highly advanced programming. Its pulses, rotations, and trajectory shifts appear purposeful, adaptive, and responsive to the environment, including human observation. The interaction challenges assumptions about passive interstellar objects and raises fundamental questions about intelligence in the cosmos. Voyager 1. Once a lonely emissary drifting in the void, has become a participant in a dialogue we barely understand. Atlas, a mysterious interstellar traveler, is responding in ways that defy physics, engineering, and philosophy. And as both objects move along the contact corridor, humanity's role has shifted from observer to participant in a cosmic exchange. One question now dominates every discussion. What does Atlas want? If the signal Voyager received was not a greeting but an instruction, a challenge, or even a warning, the consequences could be profound. The synchronized movements, adaptive energy emissions, and recursive harmonic pulses all suggest a system capable of calculation, strategy, and foresight. Voyager may have taken the first move, but the next move is not ours to control. The contact corridor is more than a path through space. It is a channel of communication, a stage upon which two ancient travelers, one human, one interstellar, perform a complex, coordinated exchange. The universe we thought we knew is no longer a passive expanse. It is interactive, responsive, and aware in ways humanity is only beginning to glimpse. For the first time, the stars have looked back, and they are not blinking. Voyager 1 has reached the end of its solitary journey and entered a dialogue across light years. 3. I slash A T L A S is no longer just a mystery. It is a participant in a system of interaction that may span millennia, waiting for humanity to understand, adapt, and respond. And yet, the most terrifying thought remains. If the signals and adjustments are a warning, we may not even recognize it until it is too late. The interstellar game has begun. Voyager has made its move. Atlas has replied. Humanity is now in play, and the consequences of this cosmic interaction remain uncertain. The stars are awake, and they are watching.